Hey. So, did you guys see my post today about consistency? I wanted to expand on some of the items uh, that I posted. And if I keep looking away from you, it's because I'm looking at my notes on my computer that's sitting in front of me. So I want to talk about number one, posting on your business page. So if you're just getting started with Unique, you have a party page. Uh, you should be setting up the first time that you introduce the product to your friends and your network of people uh, that you're having a party. And you may have one, two, or three parties. But after the third party, if you've gone that far, I only had two parties, you, your, your network of people that are in that group know that you sell mascara. Um, it's no secret anymore that you are part of Unique and that you have products that are of makeup, etc. So now you need to somehow figure out how you're going to keep these people engaged in what you have to post. Basically, you want to keep them in the group. You don't want them to leave the group. If you have had two, three parties and you are still posting every day, look how great this mascara is, you need to buy this now, you should have some on hand, you need me for the holiday, and it's constant buy from me, buy from me, get this from me, buy it here, click on my link, buy it here, they're going to tune out. They're going to be done with that page. They're going to be, um, I, I don't want to purchase anything right now. I'm sick of hearing about it. And they're going to leave the group and they're not going to listen to you anymore. So your page needs to become a business page, your group. It could be a group. It could be a, bus a regular business page on Facebook, or it could be a party that you started that you turn into a business page. And you need to change the name. You're no longer having a party. Change your name to... Um, you know, my Jackie's uh, makeup and mascara tips or makeup and mascara fun. I actually work in the fitness business, so I combined mine and I did muscles and makeup. So I engaged people on other content um, in regards to fitness, and then I throw in uh, some product information, some makeup tips, and then it's not all unique stuff. I will throw in celebrity tips on how to um, moisturize your skin better uh, or what the latest celebrity is doing in regards to skincare. Um, I will put in how to apply eyeshadow to make your eyes look bigger and brighter, but not once do I mention that they need to purchase mine because they know I sell it. So I'm just trying to educate them on how to look their best using everyday products, even though I know they know <laughs> that I have those products as well. So I put on there that the content in your business page needs to be three things. It needs to be educational. So educate, educate them on A, makeup and skincare. Okay? When you educate them and you post something that's educational, don't purchase my stuff here because I have what I just educated on. Just give them information for free. Give them information without expecting anything in return. They will pay attention. They appreciate that. And when they're ready, they're going to remember, you know what? I do need to moisturize better. And I remember Jackie saying that, um, I know she sells stuff. I'm going to check out some of her moisturizer. You also need to be entertaining. So um, I'm not the funniest person uh, amongst my friends by no means. So I look for ways to entertain them by simple stuff. Facebook, I'll see somebody post something really funny on Facebook and I'll steal it. And I'll post it as well or I'll tell a story that I find humorous or I'll go to Pinterest. I get a lot of funny ideas on Pinterest. Um, and I'll post funny stuff about makeup. I'll post uh, funny stuff about just life in, in general, but you got to be very careful. You don't want to go too far off the cuff with unrelatable material. Otherwise, you're, if you're all over the board, you're just all over the board, and then people are going to be like, she's all over the board, and, and this doesn't make any sense to me. So your page needs to be relatable. Uh, so if you're going to post just about 
makeup and mascara, then educate them. Educate them on makeup and mascara and entertain them with it as well. Uh, and then of course, engage. Engage means try to get uh, people to engage in your posts. So ask questions um, that are not related always to the products you sell. Uh, you could ask questions like, who actually uh, put, uses sunscreen on a daily basis? Or does have any, or ask them if anyone's got any recommendations on their favorite sunscreen. We don't sell sunscreen. So um, you're not actually deterring anyone from purchasing from you, uh, but you're engaging them uh, on your page. That engages people to look at your page and pay attention to what you're posting. If you haven't read the book, Jab, Jab, Jib, Jib, Jab, 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 jab Hook. <laughs> I've started reading it, I haven't finished it, but that's basically what you're doing. You're basically jabbing them, jabbing them with informative information, entertaining information, engaging them, and then you right hook them with your products. But if you are constantly right hooking them, they're going down. They're going down and they're not coming back up. So educate, entertain, engage. Use your page to do that. If it's just going to be about makeup and mascara, then you've got to educate, entertain, and engage on that. Or if you're an expert or have a forte in something else, combine the two. Like I did fitness. I did muscles and, and makeup, so I post about fitness and makeup. They're somewhat relatable, but I don't deter from fitness or makeup. That's it. That's all I post about, but I educate, entertain, and engage on both of those topics. Okay, try that out. See if you can continue to keep your audience uh, by using those tips. Okay, talk soon. Ciao.